Assalamu alaikum all of my dear students you are most welcome in my another physics class today you already learned about galileo's and lorentz transformation when an object moves with near about the light velocity galileo's transformation doesn't work and for this reason lorentz express his transformational equation einstein first time realized the internal significance of those equations and by using his equations Einstein express or published his very famous phenomenon or famous theory which is called theory of relativity I express one of the important part of the theory of relativity in my today's lecture and for this uh, for your better learning I want to start my lecture with an example so students we observe that here aircraft move from uh, uh, like this way here the counting time of any event by the person on the craft uh, or uh, with any stationary observer is very similar uh, as per the galileo's transformation but when the of uh, the craft moves with the light velocity and near about the light velocity this time taken the time measuring time is not equal that means time slightly vary and which is expressed by the einstein uh, on the help of the by the help of the lorentz transformational equation due to this reason einstein expressed that time doesn't absolute time is relative in respect of the observers who, who are there in different velocity and today i want to express this theory which is called relativity time so let's start students need to know about what is called relativity of time the time interval between the occurrence of two events uh, which are in motion with a respect to an observer will be longer than the time interval of the occurrence of same two events which are at rest in res with respect to the observer now we need to explain this phenomenon we can consider two reference frame one is s reference frame which is called a rest x y and z this is the rest reference frame and we can consider another reference frame which is s prime x prime y prime and z prime we consider in this reference frame a person a and here and another person b and this person b move away from a person as a velocity v l with the uh, x axis positive x axis this person switch on a light in his room that's when light is on and uh, and this moment is counting by himself and this is uh, time is t1 prime and after a few moments later he just off this light and the measuring time is t2 prime the time interval in respect of this b person is which is called delta prime equal to t2 prime minus t1 prime the position of the light in respect of the b person always be same that means there is no change of the position of the light because light and this person b they are in same velocity in respect of a person on the other hand the same event of the switch and switch on and off of the light the time travel time uh, difference of the same events are same events that means we can consider t2 minus t1 but the position change but the change of position of the light not equal to zero because the starting moment of the light in respect of the a person and the off position of the light from in respect of the a person not in the same position that's when the position is not equal to zero and that's why the phenomenon expressed that this time is slightly longer than the time of ac accurate time or actual time in uh, reference frame b del t that means del t greater than del t prime here the time interval between the occurrence of two events the time interval occurrence of the two 
events which are in motion which are in motion in respect to an observer will be the longer which are in the motion in respect of a b is in motion that's mean in respect of the, this time that's mean del t is slightly longer than the time interval occurrence of the same two events which are at rest with respect to the observer that's mean this situation this phenomenon is rest in respect of the b that's mean time measuring in respect of the b is slightly shorter and time measuring in respect of the a is slightly longer in that's mean time is time can be very time not absolute and this phenomenon is the called the time relativity or relativity of the time and that's why here time is uh, longer and this is the time is another meaning is time dilation and this phenomenon is another name is time dilation we can express this phenomenon by using a lorentz transformation equation we consider a lorentz inverse transform equation del t equal to del t prime plus v del x prime root over 1 minus v by c whole square here del x prime is 0 so that we can put here del t prime v del x prime 0 root over 1 minus v by c whole square so that we can finally find that del t equal to del t prime root over 1 minus v by c whole square which is called the theory of relativity in concern for the time so has been called the relativity of time what is here del t and del t prime what is the meaning of the del t and del t prime here del t del t equal to t which is called the time interval interval for moving observer yeah del t prime equal to t naught equal to time interval for rest observer so that we can express this equation like this way t equal to t naught by root over 1 minus v by c whole square also and this equation another name is time dilation as per the discussion the equation was t equal to t naught by root over 1 minus v by c, c whole square here t is greater than t naught and how how can is uh, greater than um, we, we know here v divided by c what is the c is just the light velocity light velocity the value of the light velocity 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and this is the even velocity and the velocity light is very highest or bigger than the even velocity so that the ratio always the uh, smallest or less than this mean this ratio always less than one so we can write here v by c whole square also be the uh, less than one and if we subtract uh, uh, written by this uh, one minus is also less than one and when we start give a root sign also this phenomenon is the less than one so we can express this line like this way t equal to t naught and this value is less than one so greater than t naught here t the time taken or measuring time by a person is higher or big that's mean high value and the measuring time of the even by the b person or counting time by the b person is a low same event count by a person that's mean the count by a watch in respect of a person and it's the counting time is higher higher means its count more time more time means the hands of the watch is faster then the, in respect of the hands of the watch for b observer the hands of the watch move fast that's when it takes more time that's when it give the faster time and hands of the 
B observer watch is that gives the slower time. That's why it makes low or low value. That's been slow. The time in respect of a person, a person observed that the was moves slowly, but for B person is normal. The event is very normal for B person, but A person observed that this watch is moved slow. And this phenomenon is the called time dilation. And this process can be vice versa. We can express this time dilation by uh, showing example now. Uh, here we consider a aircraft moves with a velocity V equal to 0.9 C and observer b is standing here and uh, he drop a ball and uh, on the ground of the aircraft and it's the bounce from above we playing like this uh, 10 minutes and on the other hand the observer uh, which is the standing on the earth uh, and the, the measuring time we can we know is is called t and in respect of b person this time is t naught by using the equation t equal to T naught by root over 1 minus V by C whole square. Putting the value 10 root over 1 minus 0 0.9 whole square. So we can find T equal. It is almost 23 minute. That's been the counting time by A person is 23 minutes. The same event this B person measure from each watch 10 minute and same event measured by a person in respect of each was is 23 minutes that's when the hands of the a person was move fast and the hands of the b person was slightly slow so that this time is more than the time of b b person that's why we can tell t is greater than t naught after learning this time relativity we can express now an interesting thing which is a uh, well known thing is the twin paradox we consider here a twin and one of the twin we can send uh, towards the space by using a spacecraft with 90 percent of light velocity when he travel into the space uh, we compare the two watch in respect of the um, two environment two reference frame then the reference frame of the uh, here the second one uh, this is the our our situation and this is the uh, another situation they who uh, move towards the space and his watch is almost 40 percent that's when the hand is moves now 40 percent uh, speed of our watch if he moves with 99 percent now the speed of the hands of the watch now 14 percent and if the uh, aircraft moves with 99.9 percent .9 the speed uh, of the hands of the was now four and a half percent and in this way the per, the second one boy that's been the who moves towards the space is returned to the earth and his is now five years older and our is now is 110 it's not the paradox and you think how could be that it's not paradox is the it's the reality it depends on the velocity that's all from my side if you uh, learn better you have to read the textbook and for today goodbye Allah Hafiz.